Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today I have a Tree Looks One Palette video with a Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia. It's this gorgeous palette. And also, just a really quick review here. Um, these eyeshadows, the mattes, are blending so well. The shimmers are super pigmented. And also, there is almost no fallout. Like, on my, uh, when I apply it on my face, like the darker ones do have a little bit of a fallout. What you also have with the other palettes, even with the modern renaissance if you would go in there it would like fall out like a lot of fallout so that's not with this palette they really stepped up their game and this palette i absolutely recommend it is amazing so yeah if you guys want to know how i created these three looks then keep on watching so we are starting with the first look with the soft glam palette and I'm first going in with orange soda and with this Anastasia brush that comes with the palette and I'm going to blend this in my crease and after that I'm going in with the color Sienna and I will be blending that on the outer feet and also in the inner corner and for this look I wanted to or I created a uh, halo eye really love uh, the matte shadows like I explained in the be beginning I'm trying to talk too fast, but I can't. I always forget that I just can't talk fast in English. But then I'm blending Mulberry in the outer V and the inner corner. I'm just doing the same things and just deepening up that halo eye. And then I'm going in with this color bronze and it is so pigmented. It is so pigmented, I didn't even wet my brush. And then I applied the Opulence Lashes from Lily Lashes. And then I'm applying this highlighter from Anastasia from Umbreezy. Or the collab that they had with Umbreezy. And I'm just highlighting my whole face with this. And then I'm going in with the blush kit from Anastasia. Going in with this yeah, dark red color for my blush. Really love this color. And then I'm spraying some rose water from Atlas. And then I'm highlighting my uh, brow bone also with the Umbreezy highlighter. It is, um, I think, my favorite highlighter. No, no, Seabell is still my favorite highlighter from Rocky Cosmetics, but this one is coming really close to it. But then I'm blending Sienna also on my lower lash line. Just only Sienna. And I'm also highlighting my inner corner with the Anastasia highlighter. And then I am applying this beautiful liquid lipstick. I think it was in the color Poot, but I put all the products um, per look. Like you can see it in the description box. You can see look one, look two, look three. And then for look one, I have the lipstick names. Or I mean, I have for all the looks, I have uh, the products mentioned in the description box. And that's it for look one. Now we are going to look two. Again, I'm going to first start with orange soda. As you can see, my eyelids are a little bit more pigmented with like uh, this coloration, and that's because I tried another eyeshadow primer. Normally, I would use the Tarte Shape Tape as my primer, and uh, then I'm blending Cypress Umber. I uh, hope I pronounced it right. Uh, in my crease, well, no, I'm creating a crease line, just like what you would do, what you would do with a cut crease, and now I'm just doing that with a. This is actually also a cut crease, but just a round cut crease, kind of. And then I'm blending Rustic on top of it, blending everything together so that you have a nice blended effect. And then I'm applying uh, Fairy on my lid. And normally I would first use a concealer, but as you can see, this shimmer is so pigmented that you don't even have to do that. It is so pigmented. Then I'm going to create a winged eyeliner with the Black Magic Eyeliner from Ico. And then for blush, I'm going to use the Anastasia Blush Kit. And then in this peachy color, my favorite blush kit ever. Or blush ever. Like, I really love this color. And then with the Anastasia 3D uh, highlighting palette, I'm going in with this highlighter. And I'm going to highlight my whole face with this. And then I'm spraying some 
all-nighter spray from uh, Urban Decay. Sorry, yes. And then I'm again blending Cypress Ombre, Cypress Ombre on my lower lash line. And, and for my lips, I used uh, lip gloss from Anastasia in Toffee. And that's already it for look two. And now we are going to my favorite look, look two. Uh, look three <laughs> and i'm first again starting off with orange soda in my crease i love this as a transition shadow like it's perfect and then i went in with nor and i'm going to create a crease line again again around crease or cut crease and you don't need to be like careful you can just make a line because you will blend it out after it so you will not really see how you applied the line. And then I'm going in with this tea rose and I'm going to blend this together and blend it on top of the black. And now as you can see, this is uh, when you start blending it out, it doesn't matter how you applied the line. Because some people are scared to create that line. You don't have to. And then with Merl Mulberry, I blended everything together again and made it a little bit darker. Just made the crease line a little bit darker. And then I went in with NYX cream color in white and I cleaned up the lid. Just perfect, a perfect base for cut creases and for, yeah, for to do this step. And then I went in again with Dusty Rose and I did the same thing like what I did in the beginning from the first look. I'm going to create a halo eye on this um, clean lid kind of <laughs> and then I started blending mulberry on my outer feet and on my inner corner um, yeah I'm just creating a halo eye with a cut crease kind of and I saw this look on Instagram and I'm totally obsessed And now to make it even darker, I went in with more and I also did the same thing, just deepened the outer feet and the inner corner. And I just really think that this kind of looks, looks photoshopped, kind of, although I'm saying it myself, but it looks like, I don't know, kind of strange. <laughs> I just really, uh, I love uh, how this looked. But then I went in again with this rose and I went over it. And then I went in with the white one, it's called Tempera. And I forgot to show you guys the color, but it's on the left, totally on the left. But um, I blended that in the middle to get that really, like that there's a light shining on my eyes kind of effect. And then I applied these Lily Lashes in the style Dilera, And then this Huda Beauty uh, highlighting palette. And I first went in with the blush. And after that with the highlighter, which is so pretty. It is really pretty. And I highlighted my whole face with this. My cheeks or my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, my nose. Oh no. Uh, that was really weird. I said, okay. Anyways, <laughs> uh, my, my uh, Cupid's bow. That's what I wanted to say. So, and I also um, highlighted my brow bone with this highlighter and my inner corners. This is really my favorite look. Um, I really want to do more of these crazy or these different looks. They are more interesting to me than those looks that everyone does. Um, which are also nice, but I was on a, on a point with only doing simple looks. But actually, you will see that everywhere on Instagram. So I want to keep uh, doing more crazy looks. And then I went in with the liquid lipstick from Anastal uh, Huda Beauty, sorry. In the color, I have no idea. I will have that in the description box. But I really love these liquid lipsticks. I received them a few days back and they are amazing. Like, amazing. And that's it for these three looks. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos or enjoyed this video and these kind of videos. Yeah, the three looks, one palette videos. Let me know if you want to see more of these videos. Please like and subscribe. Whoa, well, I haven't asked that in a long while, but it re would really help me. So yeah, and yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.